Morning everyone. So it's warm up game day. We're gonna start off with I am warm up and Simon says. And before we do that, we're gonna do some doors pressing to sit back while I sort out the iPad. So on the ground, a few good mornings and I'll read them out. Good morning, Cara, Zach, Pranas, and Nancy. Do us a press to sit back, then we're gonna go reverse lunge and rotate. So from standing, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Make sure you go around the outside and keep your back straight. How you doing today, Charlie? Let's swap. Did you find this one tough? Good. That's what it's for. You put your elbow on the outside, it locks you down, so you have to rotate through your back. How are you doing, Manon Nugget, Robin, Jamie? Yeah, three more days to go, Look, Good point. Uh, and how are you doing, Edith? Then we're going to do some walkouts and leg swings. So no downward dog today, just go to that push-up position, set your shoulders, walk yourself back in. And try and see whether it's easier to reach the floor after the first couple. So after that, then you're gonna go leg swing. Remember, start paying real close attention. How are you doing, Harry? To how much bend you get in the stance leg. So if you find that you're doing your leg swing, you start to rise up, or you bend your knee to get a bigger swing. Try to control it a bit more. And same with side to side. So that's about the limit of my side leg swing at the minute. But if you are feeling tighter than usual, it's really important that you don't force it, or you'll just end up doing stuff like this. You go back and then side to side, second leg. Then we've got IYTW. Make sure you grab your cushions. And there's about the time to start getting in your comments for Simon Says. If you start doing it now, and I'll have something to work with when we start. So finish out with CW. And then for the warm-up game, we've got a couple of burpees. So make sure you start from that press up plank position, land into a squat, and then jump. And just try and get those three key positions, but do it quick. So down. Cool, thank you, Carl. I don't have to think too much while I'm trying to work. Oh, Luke, thank you as well. So that's a good starting point. Make sure you've had a drink and then and you didn't. It's just so much easier. Right, so three, two, one, go. So jog it on the spot. So Simon says, do a split push up. Simon says, 
do a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, small room. Okay. Then, around the world, car clarifying, I'll do it. Someone says, do a push up, so I'll do a push up the stand. For Luke. Because we're not doing it later. Simon says, sit down. Roll over. Simon says, stand up. Jump. From your burpee if you miss it. Then, a couple more. Simon says, burpee. Ugh. Go that way, not forward. And then Simon says, squat. And relax. So over a little bit, I've got one more to do for Dylan. Uh, and then I'll make it up. So guys, try and get a couple more comments in. So, three, two, one, go. So I'm gonna read that as clap push-up Dylan. Simon says a clap push-up. <sighs> try and all three of them. Then Simon says, do you around the world? Move your hands in a big circle, reaching down to the floor and up to the ceiling. So what, like, that never went well. Okay, Simon says, star jump, sit down. I don't. Simon says, log roll. Simon says, log roll backwards. Simon says, curl up. Stand up. Simon says stand up. Simon says star jump. Simon says jump. Simon says squat. Simon says touch your toes. Touch your toes. Simon says jump. And relax. So Wednesday session. You've got split push up. Bent over a row and then sit up the streamline. And then second part, no push at the stand, it's just gonna be card game, animal movement, and bean game. So make sure you've got a bag for your bent over a row. And then we'll get going. So grab a drink, and then we'll go sp split push up in three, two, one, go. So let me know how you're getting on with these. It's been a while since we talked about it. But hopefully you're finding it a bit easier to not have your hands side by side. Maybe you only have to move one hand if you're really struggling. Instead of having it almost basically twice as difficult. So keep one where it normally should be. And your other option is to start from the floor. So if you get down, organize yourself, put your hand where you want to work from. Just focus on going up. You do them, have to go on your knees. Cool, if you try it with a belt car, so if you do, oh, my belts have all been moved. But it makes it a little bit easier to set up and push if someone's helping you lift your weight. Then, Stop into bent of a rope. Three, two, one, go. So combinations are two feet on the ground, pull with a big squeeze. You can go single arm, split stance. Like that, and make sure you turn your knuckles from forward to sideways. Switch over if you were doing single arm anyway, or you can go single leg, standing on the same side. Or single leg opposite side, so left foot on the ground, pull with your right arm. Let's technically do that. Last couple of seconds. And stop there. And we'll finish up the round with sit up the streamline. Two, one, go.
So we're going to keep the reps separate, relax on the ground before you move on. If you really want to challenge yourself, hold the string line as you go back to the ground. And as you do that, make sure you keep yourself straight. So if you go streamlined from the top, you have to round your back up to try and hold it. Just take your hands back down by your side and then stop there. So a little break and we're back into split push up. In, two, one, let's go. I mean, how much more challenging do you find it if you go off your knees, guys? To help me a lot with my shoulder. But... Oh. Or do you think, since you started doing these ones, that normal push-ups have gotten easier? That'd be the main thing that you want to find. Equally, you want to make sure that you can still just feel that push of both hands are doing something. Last couple of seconds, time for one more. And then stop, go back into bed of a row. Two, one, go. So if you're on a single leg, make sure your airplane position is solid. So if you're on one foot, Organize your heel, extend it as far behind you as you can get it. Bend your knee if you have to, and just make sure that you don't start twisting to bring the bag up. Then switch sides. Finish up round two with sit up to streamline. Two, one, go. Twenty seconds left. It's really important you try not to round your back. So if you end up having to lead with your head to get into that sit up, it's going to take some of the tension away from your core. It won't get as strong. Relax. Whereas if you can do it with a nice long trunk, it will get stronger in any position you want. It's all about choice. Last round of part one then. Back into split push-ups. In three, two, one, go. Other options are like people who are struggling to do it off your knees. <clears throat> Just concentrate on the down bit. Set your hands up where you want them to be. And work through it like that. Go onto your knees from the bottom. Put your hands wide. Challenge yourself for that position. And then just fall down under control. A few more seconds. Try and think of something that you haven't done before. 
So I used to really loathe this one, but it's quite easy now. And stop. Into bent over right. Two, one, go. The other thing, if you start to wobble and fall over and you're struggling to stay up, you don't feel your back working, that's when you have to go onto two feet. Because you want it to really focus on your back as much as anything else. Switch sides if you were doing a single arm. Make sure your elbow stays really tight, like there's a magnet inside your elbow, pulling you in towards your ribs. Relax, and then we'll do sit up to streamline. In two, one, go. So sticking with the magnet analogy, imagine that same thing, magnets in the ceiling and your fingertips. So as you go up, pulling you really tight and then fall out of control, make sure it stays in your stomach. Last couple of seconds. And stop. So you get one minute of rest. And we'll go card game, animal movement, bean game. So you start feeding in comments for animal movement now. Um, will the session be still at the same time this week for you guys? Yes, Car. So all of your videos are going to st stay at eight. And yeah. So I have a bit of a, uh, a blank out there. But eight o'clock, so they wake up at the same time. Twenty seconds left. So let's know what you want to see for the animal movements that are second. I've taken a few more cards out so that it's seven max. And we're gonna go in three. Two, one, go. So we'll start off with four squats. Into three star jumps. Into six squats. Cool, let's cover it. It's just easier if I can scroll up. Or just keep defaulting to hamster run. Six of those. Seven dead bugs. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Not again. One star jump. And relax. Then you've got. Animal movements in two, one, go. It's a cheat sprint into headshot curl, elephant yoga, spray yourself out wide as you can into giraffe jump, couple of them. Frog leap. So, like you're on a lily pad. Carl, what's a stretchy cat? Then into stop and jump. And then in crab walks. Two and stop. Being game, I'm going to start off with crab walks, Luke, because I feel like that wasn't a fair, a 
fair shake. Two, one, go. So, jelly bean. Me two, jumping bean. Jumping bean. String bean to baked bean. Do that three times, and then we'll go rolling bean. Baked rolling bean. Into broad bean. And runner bean. And stop. Whew. So start off then with animal movement, bean game, card game. And again, let's know what you want to see. 20 seconds rest. Animal movements first. So we'll go crab walk. So we can do them properly. Oh, you both snapped each other there. Two, one, go. So try and keep your hands over your head. Three on each side. Keep your feet apart. Then frog hop. Let's listen to our frog leap. So lily pad. Oh, good one. Good Little walk. Hands and feet alternating. And then duck walk unless someone's done something else. Chicken pack. Ah. Oh. So flatten your arms, kicking your feet out in front, and then relax. Whew. Duck cheetah. Okay. Two, one, bean game. So, <sighs> bait bean, string into string bean. <sighs> bait bean into string bean. Into broad bean. Then runner bean. Rolling bean. <sighs> And stop. Thanks, Carl. I'll pick them up for the next one. Into car game. Two, one, go. So one squat. Bean game. Six double dead bugs. Six dead bugs. Alternating. Three, four, five. Six, seven, star jumps. Six, seven, and relax. Um, that it? Yeah, round two is done. 20 seconds off, so then we're gonna go. Bean card animal. <laughs> on your creativity, Carl Muller. Right. Okay, consider it done. I want to say what's happening next. So we'll go bean game first, uh, car game, then animal movement. So three, two, one, go. And string, baked, rolling, because we're down here anyway. Then roll back. Broad bean, so I can read the iPad. And runner bean. Okay, then broad bean, string bean, rolling bean. And stop. That ran a little bit. Okay, then card game. Two, one, go. So seven. Of diamonds, which was jump, five, six, seven. Jim Hendry must be bored this morning. 
It was always in here. You got a Joker, some minute of plank at the end. Ace, one double dead bug. Nope. Five. Toe touches. Haven't done anything today. And stop. Right, animal movements. So what have we got? Monkey run. Oh, it's another one I've got. Right, duck walk as well. So, two, one, duck walk. And we'll finish on the monkey one. Car. I mean, if anyone else has any other embarrassing animal related ideas, feel free to share them. Okay, then hamster run. Okay, into worm rolls. Worm roll back. Ugh. Right, then we'll finish off with a monkey, monkey run. Saw that. That'll do you. Oh, chicken back, fine. No, how'd you, how'd you lot? That's taken all my dignity for today. I'll let it, let it regroup for next, next time car. But it's a good idea, I really liked it. Right, see you later, on. Bye bye. And hope Nugget has a good day as well. Dog park will do a lazy hat. Car, where do you get these ideas from? Okay, that'll do. Recovery time. Fun more is going to walk about again. So we'll do super couch into archer stretch. So it's like halfway through the week where I said it's getting a little bit easier. Let me know how you're feeling today. So it should feel like you still work pretty hard, but whenever your first swim session is, hopefully you'll you'll feel that much fresher when you get into it. But I definitely think I'll be in a better place on Friday. Hopefully you will too. So it sides. Remember, if you haven't got a wall behind you, you can just hold your your ankle. Gonna stick with the magnet and analogies today, I'm feeling lazy. So magnet in your ribs, pulling it down so your stomach stays tight, and you're all really good at planks, so that should be easy. Let's keep your chest facing forward. And remember, if you want to be creative and turn it into a hamstring stretch, you can do that. Just creep your head, your foot forward, and sit into it. As long as your back stays straight, so it's good, just come up, set yourself up, and then reach forward. If you don't quite feel it, just move your, he your heel a bit further forward, and then we'll switch sides, do the other one. Oh, my cushion on the hip. So always remember, sit up again, figure out where you need to be and then go forward. Because sometimes if you go down, if you like slack off and go blah, it's not going to feel that much of a stretch and you start to think it's a bit pointless. If you organize yourself and then go, that's, that's tight already. Then we're going to do the archer stretch. <laughs> oh, so many comments. All right, so remember archer stretch. Okay, Rob and Jamie, welcome to the session. We'll see you tomorrow. And same to you, Pranas. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. And I can see cars working up, but I can't make out the words. So knee off to the side, hands on top of each other. Okay, so I had to do some serious homework yesterday, but that feels a bit better. Three, if your knee's still struggling, straighten your leg and put it out to the side. That'll actually make it harder to rotate your shoulders. Swap over. So that my elbow can get down there, but then my foot will 
knee moving. For a regional sword, you'd be pros at this anyway. Then we've got Harry saying, so thank you so much, which again makes my day. Um, have a great, have a good one. And Dylan, same to you. Hope your shoulder's feeling good and you have an amazing day. Um, hope the plants is going well. Showed my daughter what one of them was last night. She freaked out. Uh, Lewis Dunford, thanks for joining. And lat stretch. So I read these while we're doing that. But if I show you how bad I am at lat hinges, it's the one I showed you yesterday. We you put your head through your hands. If you want to make it harder, put your elbows up on top of the table. So my finger should stay up here. If I try and sink through. We keep turning. So if you hold a broomstick or something, it keeps your hands where they need to be. And it just lengthens your back muscles a little bit more. So give that a try. And then we'll swap sides. If you were doing a single. Oh no. Um, let's see, car session lift up to expectation. See, it looks really good. Oh, I'm faster. Car, if you're doing this, I assume someone was doing this typing for you. That's ridiculous if you're getting all the exercise done and typing that fast. That's so impressive. But yeah, I'm glad the setups are feeling good. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared, but excited to see how those animal movements turn out. Then chest to finish off. <laughs> I'll get the phone roller, so let's do the normal ones. So, the, the pec rotation I showed you yesterday, you can do it without the roller. You're just going to kneel, arm up. So a lot of people, when they do this stretch, they'll just stand up and reach forward. But you want to do this one through your upper back. So you twist away, and then relax. Push your hand into the wall, like you're trying to finish a push-up. Rotate back, then sit forward and see if it feels a bit easier. And then change your hand position, go up a little bit, do the same thing. So make sure your back stays straight. So if I do a side on, Bad demo because there's no wall there. All of this has to be organized on the top of your knee. So hand up, twist, relax, push to try and squeeze your chest, relax, and then stretch again. And that'll do. So your parents have to work to keep yourself. So I thought I was pretty quick, pretty quick at typing when I was younger, but that's seriously impressive, well done. And that'll do. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for taking part. And we'll see you tomorrow for, like Luke pointed out, the second last one of these as they are. Take care.